our new course on model context protocol advanced ai agents for beginners is out now it helps you to connect ai with any sort of a software be it whatsapp twitter instagram etc do check out the link in the comment section below so hi everyone today we are exploring a very exciting tutorial on model context protocol that is mcp server for rag framework hence you can talk to your local files using be it cursor be it cloud ai that too using mcp so how we are doing this before jumping on to the technicalities let's test out our particular custom mcp server that i have created for rag and i'll be explaining you all the code so don't worry about it so if you click here here you can see that our rag mcp server is active and the tool present is retrieved this is completely customized hence you can do anything here I will be telling you how I did it. But first of all, let's check out whether it is working or not. So for now, I have fed a dummy txt file on a imaginary town that is Zekar Kaki. So here you can see that this is the file about, it is a text file, plain text file so that everyone can test out whether LLM is not making things up on its own and it is fetching actual information. Hence, I used imaginary names. And here you can see that in the heart of mountainous country of Olboy, nestled between ancient oak forests, the founding of Zekarkaki, the end of prosperity, the curse of Zekarkaki, etc. All this story is made up so that Claude can, can't make out any story if we ask about some real world incident. So let's get started. Tell me about the town of Zekarkaki. So we will also mention rag here just to be safe. So I will just hit enter and then let's see the magic whether our MCP server is working or not. As you can see, it is, it is starting off with extracting information about the town of Zekarkaki. This will take some time, I will tell you, because uh, at the back end, if you know how understand how rag works there is an ai that talks to the vector db so at the back end when the vector db parts comes in within the mcp server i am using olama and olama runs locally so this might take a while to generate an answer in my case but for now if you wish you can replace the olama models with api also but i was just trying to use it through local llms that's why so let's wait for a while till our results come out. Now here you can see that our answer has come up. Claude AI is able to use the MCP server for rag exactly as you can see it is able to fetch out the line. If you remember mountainous country called all boy and the answer is able to fetch out using the mcp server this is cool let me try out another question and then we will jump on to the technical details tell me about the curse of the town of zekarkaki in short using rag this will also take some time because it is again using rag so let's wait for a while Now we have got our answer from Rag. As you can see, the curse of Zekar Kaki began when soldiers desecrated a sacred site by digging trenches and laying pipes to divert water. Let's check it out. If you read here, as the soldiers dug trenches and laid pipes to divert the water, a terrible curse was laid down. So it is able to correct, uh, extract the correct information from our Rag MCP server. So this looks to be working. Now we will jump on to the technical details and how I created this custom MCP server using UV. So let's get started. So first of all, this is the command that I'm running UV init rag. So go to your location where you wish to create this MCP server and initiate any folder name. So I'm using UV init rag. I'm in, I'm creating this folder using uv so that all the required files for uv are also getting uh, coming up 
alongside then go inside rag and this is the very important part you need to mention all the external dependencies that are getting used in the code so if i show you the rag code that i'm using here so as you can see this is the rag code that i'm using for this particular mcp server where i'm using langchain olama langchain mcp and the code is quite easy i think if you have worked with uh, rag you must be knowing it i'm using olama models quen 2.5 and nomic embed text for embeddings part and the rest of the part is quite easy loading the text file splitting then creating a chroma db from the embeddings that are generated and then creating a retrieval qa chain in langchain i have already explained all this in detail in my previous video also in my book you can check this out so i'm not discussing the code for rag here unfortunately i'll be sharing this code so don't worry about it so whatever external dependencies that are getting used here including mcp cli this is a must you need to mention it like this uv add and all the dependencies once they get installed as you can see if you wish to create other folders also data if you're using some data if you wish to create add tools separately you can do that i am not doing anything so rest of the part is not that necessary the next step is to create this file the server file as mentioned inside the folder the rag folder where we have initiated the uv in it rag if you remember so here this is the server file that i'm creating and inside which i have my rag code in my rag code i will show you one thing this is the mcp tool that i'm mentioning at the rate mcp dot tool where the retrieve tool that was visible to you is running this qa chain the rag qa chain so rag qa chain is common when to run it i am using the retrieval function for that so this is the only tool that is visible to you if you remember once this is done so once you have created your server file with everything you need to have a this particular part is a must mentioning the tools and mentioning the when what to do when the main function is called mcp.run this is important apart from that whatever logic you want to follow here you can do that right once this is done you can try running the server whether the file is working fine or not using uv run server.py so in the end it should show something like this that it is up now at the end http 200 okay now this was the first step now as a next step you also need to change your cloud config if you remember so how to change that you need to go to the top left files go to settings dev, uh, developer and here you can see my rag mcp is up you need to go to edit config and here's a json file that opens up you need to click on that and here you need to add this information for your rag mcp server that we have created customized completely so here you need to mention the command is uv so if you are using windows or mac you need to provide the full path for uv just uv won't work so you need to in your command line and ask where uv in that case you should be able to get the full path then you need to pass these arguments copy everything as it is here again you need to provide the full path for the folder where the server.py file is there and run server.py once you are done with this you have added this in the cloud config go to your task manager and terminate cloud completely don't just do a cross in this case your m cloud config won't get updated you need to go here do an end task and once you reinitiate cloud you should be able to see the rag mcp server tools here so this is how you can create a customized rag mcp server for yourself on the internet i couldn't find out anything established around this like a renowned repository so i created one for my own thank you i hope you try out rag mcp server